Yeah, and speaking of the race, he's standing by with Kakuka in the Verizon post-match interview. Bienvenidos a todos a la primera entrevista después de haber ganado Casey este primer partido aquí en Masters Madrid. I'm here joined with uh, Narrate. So first of all, congratulations on the first win of Madrid. How are you Thank feeling? You. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. KC bundle. Thank you very much, guys. I mean, the crowd has been amazing, so thank you very much. Now, back into the interview and the actual questions. First of all, um, how do you think this team has been different from everything that you've seen in EMEA? Um, how the preparation has been different to, you know, adapt into a Chinese team? Um, well, obviously, we have. Uh, like, same thing with every team in this uh, competition. We have a lot of info on them, so it's not really any different from any other team we played. I would say that they're really good at, like, making really good individual plays. Just absolutely, if you make any mistake, they will punish the fuck out of you. And it's, like, it's really hard, to be honest. Like, we can play perfectly, but if some guy just finds a perfect timing, he's gonna he's gonna kill all of us. Okay, le he preguntado que qué tal ha sido no prepararse para todo esto para equipos diferentes a los que está acostumbrado en EMEA y me ha dicho que la verdad tienen mucha información en los equipos, pero que eh, la preparación es básicamente la misma. La información está ahí y sienten que FPX les ha castigado bastante, no, en cada error que podían cometer ahí estaban ellos para poner la bala. Of course, you had a brilliant performance. Uh, let's call it like that. How do you think this is going to translate into the rest of the tournament because of course uh, you guys are the, the least experienced in, in some senses do you think that gives you that underdog power uh, I mean to be honest we don't really see ourselves as underdogs or overdogs we're just a team that we're gonna try to play every team as well as possibly can just play our game so I don't think it's really gonna affect us like even though like you saw at um, EMEA that we don't need stage experience we're just the players that we are we don't crumble under pressure and that's it Dice que no se derrumban ante la adversidad, que no necesitan esa experiencia y que todo el torneo debería de ser así. No se consideran que, que, que sean débiles o que, o que vayan a sufrir eh, por todo eso. Uh, real quick, before I, I let you go, um, Chamber, Reina, of course, a lot of things that we do not see in EMEA. Was it hard for you to adapt onto all of that, or was it just the duels? To be honest, like it's not that hard to adapt to. Like obviously, we we knew their comps before we played them, just because they played them in uh, like Chinese league, and so like we kind of knew what we were going into. But also, I feel like a lot of EMEA teams also play kind of crazy stuff as well. So it's not like we we played against a billion different comps and scrims, and it's yeah, it's just preparation, and our preparation is really good, and we know what they're gonna do, and yeah, we just execute. La preparación también por encontrarnos agentes como Chamber, como Reina, cosas que no solemos ver en EMEA. Dicen que la preparación ha estado ahí, que estas composiciones ya han jugado contra ellas en Screams, en, en, en EMEA también, así que eh, se lo podían esperar, sabían cómo adaptarse a todo esto. Bueno, well, thank you very much, I will let you go, we'll see you in a couple of days. Uh, and you guys at home, do not go anywhere, because that's Gen G against Loud coming up next.